guys, welcome back to another video. I decided to do another what's for dinner because it's popular. Back by popular demand. Here it is, we are on a Wednesday night. Wednesday, I've just been doing pasta every Wednesday. It makes decisions a lot easier to do pasta every Wednesday. And we got kids coming and going all over the place. So I like to get it done early on Wednesday, just a big pot of something, and I'll show you what it is tonight. Tonight is just spaghetti. We did a big spaghetti sauce, so easy, with just canned tomato sauce, spices, onion, and garlic with our ground beef. We did four pounds of ground beef and I think like six or eight cans of tomato sauce. I started it, but Tori took over. She loves to make it. We did a big pot of sauce, a big pot of noodles. It was two boxes of these whole wheat linguine. I've just combined some of it and I'm gonna keep combining here, but I think we might have a little more sauce than the pasta warrants. We have some leftover ricotta cheese from when we made lasagna soup, so we're doing a dollop of that on top. We have some Parmesan cheese too, so if we run out of that, you can pull out some parm or whatever the kids want and actually a little mozzarella. Any kind of cheese is good on top. The only thing we did different today is, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but we added a package of frozen kale. I love that. It makes it much better and the kids don't mind it too much. It's quick, it's easy, and it's um, one of the meals I want to make sure all my kids know how to make. So all the way down to Tori right now makes it, is she 12 or 13? <laughs> Anyway, so many of them know how to make it, which is good. They all need to know how to make a lot of things for their lives as adults, so that's important. Their challenge will certainly be making it in small amounts. You know, there's a strange phenomenon that happens when your kids start getting older and are going places. Everybody's going different places all the time. It gets a little harder to like just purposely eat dinner together because there's always people missing. In our case tonight, five of our kids will be missing. And so it can be tempting sometimes to just feed whoever when they're ready and just kind of eat on the go for everyone. But we've been really trying to make a point to just whoever is home around six, just sitting down and eating all together. Is this dessert or what? Dessert. But everyone they took a some little grapes. And it makes a lot. They peeled the grapes. They froze the grapes and they peeled the grapes and they smushed them she said with what? With spoons. spoons. And now we're gonna put cinnamon. We're making something here. Say it again, what are you putting in? Cinnamon. Cinnamon's next. All right, what's for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> what is for dinner tonight? I don't know, good question. I'm making myself a different dinner. <laughs> she is. Thursday, which we tend to do Mexican inspired night just because once again, then I don't have to think about what I'm making for dinner. I just pick something in that genre, make sure I have meat out that I can cook something in that genre. That's how I'm meal planning these days and it's working out really well for me. It's just four days a week that I pick a topic. A the other genre. days are a little less busy in a, a genre. <laughs> then I can just make whatever sounds good with what we always have. Okay, so tonight I put two cups of brown rice in my pressure cooker. I love to cook rice in this because it's just, I can walk away, especially when it's brown rice, which you have to babysit a lot on the stove. And so I did two cups of rice, three cups of water, and I do it on multigrain or just 20 minutes high pressure. Then I cooked up three pounds, well one pound of ground beef I had and two pounds of sausage from some meat someone gave us. So that's not quite enough for us unless I mix it with rice. Otherwise just three pounds of meat for taco meat would go way too fast. Then I mixed in our homemade taco seasoning. It looks like it's from Sam's Club, but I just reuse the container and I mix in a lot of Picante, so that makes it taste really good. I just tried it, it's very yummy. Belle is running home between two different activities. She's a busy lady at all times. I said it's a strong <laughs> word for what I was doing. Okay, <laughs> all right. Well, these are all our chocolate chips. We're probably um, boxing up from our uh, Azure standard order of chocolate chips. Oh, you probably haven't seen that video yet. Anyway, it's six gallons, woo. She took out some of the meat before I put in all the seasonings because she felt like Big Mac salad and she's making up some dressing here. The maple syrup was not for that. The maple syrup went with that no. yogurt that somebody oh. else ate a little bit ago. <laughs> that, I mean, I'm sure you could make some. She's making a dressing that tastes like Thousand Island, basically. I almost in a salad mood. I know, I wish I would have thought about that earlier because I would have totally made that for What are you making, Mom? Spaghetti for lunch? I don't know yet. <laughs> so I was like, I, I feel like a salad. Oh, okay. The rice made it so much that we could actually my child needed me. We could use these large tortillas to make quesadillas on the stove. Some people could have rice bowls. Some people could put it on a salad, which I think is what I will do. Taco salad. We'll add cheese, sour cream, lettuce on top of whatever. 
Oh, we have some tomatoes, lime juice. Okay, let me show yours because it looks better than mine. Ooh, that looks pretty. We mm. should have all had that. I didn't make enough meat for everybody to have that. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna make this tomorrow for everyone because I do not mind having it two days in a row. I love okay, I'll be that's good a with deal. That. <laughs> yeah. Just because yeah. I like the sauce. Mm -hmm. ah. Here's Eli's taco. He's about to add sour cream. He's not a lettuce and tomato fan. Maybe Ooh, just lettuce. I am. Ooh. What are you saying? And mine. Hey guys, I totally forgot to film what we had last night. Did I have a plan? I had a plan that didn't work out. I think it was like dependent on solo or something. So, anyway, he pulled three oh, jars you. off the shelf. You get they were. Can you get it? My kids are loud. They're this size, and they were beef vindaloo. It was something I canned up like a, just an Indian-inspired dish. It was really good. We added vegetables, so it was meat with the spices, canned, home canned, and then we added the vegetables and coconut milk, and he made white rice. The whole thing took like five minutes to make. While the rice was cooking, we just warmed up the the vindaloo with um, coconut milk and vegetables, and in the end, like it was five minutes of prep time and it took as long as it took the rice to cook in the pressure cooker and everything was done. So it was so quick and easy. I definitely, it inspired me to want to can, home can, more full meals like that. I considered it a full meal. Just add in the vegetables and spices, it worked out. We did three jars, but I think we could have gotten away with two, which really makes me happy because the coconut milk takes it farther, so. It was a very, very good. I'll have to show you several of the dinners that we've been canning as a full dinner for last minute stuff because it helps a lot to save time on those busy nights. Like we would have ordered pizza, honestly. That's how busy it was and we didn't. We ate very healthy food. What's for dinner tonight? I probably have broccoli in my teeth because <laughs> I just took a bite of it. Uh, Solo smoked something on the smoker today. So we actually have that Indian food out still, which is why I remembered to tell you about that. But um, I cooked frozen broccoli on, ooh, it's bright here, on the uh, stove top. And I cooked a bunch of potatoes in my pressure cooker. Ooh, don't look at the food there. <laughs> pressure cooker for 12 minutes. I'm about to throw them in my KitchenAid and make mashed potatoes and I'll show you the meat in a second. All right, here's the mashed potatoes finished. This is a huge bowl. This is brisket from our freezer. It looks so good. This is a whole bag of potatoes from Sam's Club, which is mm, the red potatoes. I always leave the skins on so much better that way. If you haven't made mashed potatoes with the skins on. Yeah, so between this and the broccoli, we're gonna eat really good tonight. Are you excited for this one? Mm -hmm. it looks so good. Okay guys, what's for dinner tonight? As always, it's loud at dinner time. Oh, he wants more. Was it a thumbs up? <laughs> that's, that's the wrong finger. <laughs> at least just the first finger. Okay. Oh, a thumbs up, he did it. Good job. Thumb. Yeah. All right, today we made pizzas with the sourdough crust, pizza crust I make ahead of time. I've been making pizzas often, it takes forever because it's in the oven one at a time. I've talked about getting a pizza oven, but haven't done it. Anyway, it's Sunday night here. There's a beautiful pizza that just came out. We've been taking orders because we have a crowd. Solo's at our other house picking up. You guys wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> They're headed to Florida because they're smart. It's cold and rainy here. Um, and then we got some girls. Hi, girls. I don't know where the boys are. Yeah. Are they moving the dryer? Oh yeah. Some of the boys went with Solo because they're at our other house getting the dryer because it's not working. Anyway, these pizza crusts, I freeze them, pull them out of the fridge, freezer, a <laughs> couple days ahead, and then just make up these pizzas. And they're very good on the pizza stone in the oven. So we're just making them. It takes a long time, but it's fun. We just sit here and talk. We converse. It's a pizza experience instead of a pizza dinner. We eat slow because they come out slow. <laughs> oh, you bring me a diaper? Oh, okay. <laughs> One thing I did try to make it go faster is I did do them in a casserole dish. So, and I keep setting off the smoke alarm when I hit the broil at the end. But they're they're really good. I also have sourdough bread going four bowls of it, which is eight loaves. And both my bread makers are full, which is two more loaves, or four more loaves. Is that 12? 12 loaves of bread. <laughs> Eight of them will bake tomorrow. I just get them in the fridge overnight for a long ferment. The other four in the bread machines that are made with yeast, they'll bake tonight, so 
Just getting ahead for the week in bread at least. One thing ahead. <laughs> it always helps have some. Maybe we'll pull out meat too. Pull out meat, make bread. That's a good way to be ahead for the week. All right guys, it's another night, another meal. We're doing cheeseburger fried rice tonight. I've done this before on video, but I did it outside on a big, what do you call those things? We don't have that name brand one, and I always forget what they're called. But I cut up a whole large onion, just cooked it in coconut oil, then cooked three pounds of ground beef with it. Okay, then we cooked up, I did two cups of dry brown rice. I do it in my pressure cooker with three cups of water for 20 minutes. And we just added that. Oh, before that, we added six big duck eggs. We have duck eggs that are really large, those bigger ones over there. And one of them was a double yolk. So we put in a lot of eggs, too. Then just put in the brown rice. I used some seasoned salt. It's just like this. That sounds flying. It's just sitting down. What? A drone? This cheeseburger fried rice is so good. I'm going to add these tomatoes and pickles and all this cheese I grated. The of cheese. Oh, cheese. Oh, cheese. It was what? Like a paraglider. Oh, cool. Paraglider. Oh, it went down. All right, I missed it. Oh, I hear him flying. My uncle does that on the beach in Florida. It's so funny when we see it out on the farms. Wow. Oh, they're out in the field and he's waving to them. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, so fun. <laughs> wow, we, we have cool neighbors. I also have sourdough loaves baking right now in the oven. Got four of them plus four loaf breads. Well, we fit it in. Let me try to get the cheese too. Oh yeah, I can never have enough cheese, right? It's cheeseburger fried rice. Okay, next I'm gonna make a burger sauce using, I'm not measuring, but I'm just using the most of this, a little less of ketchup, and a little less than that of mustard together in this bowl, and we will put it on top of the cheeseburger fried rice. This turned out really good. I know my lighting is not awesome here, but you can see some melty cheese in there. I took a bite, tastes wonderful. Sometimes on Monday night, that being our day off, sometimes we, Solo wants to make a lot of food, good stuff on the grill or his Kenyan food. And sometimes we just want something very simple. This would definitely qualify for pretty fast and simple. It didn't take me long at all. The, the rice, I just set it in the Instant Pot and then once it's done, I just mix, start cooking it all up and 20 minutes later, as you can see, it's almost gone. Two of my kids are not even here, so they haven't eaten yet. And I forgot to take a picture, <laughs> so it's not gonna happen tonight. But you can see it was well loved. I feel very tired tonight and so thankful that that was a low mess, low mess dinner. <laughs> That's my favorite kind. We are to the last meal. It is morning time here, a school day, and it's Tuesday, which is the day I like to throw something in the crock pot. So my dinner tonight is very easy. You have seen probably that I've been making all this bread and I came across a video on Instagram. It is Southern Kelly Living, K-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Living, yeah, Living, and it was a tomato soup recipe that goes in the crock pot. I happen to have a lot of these bags of tomatoes frozen in my freezer, frozen in my freezer, of course. Yeah, I had bagged them up when I got them from the farmer's market this summer. They're all like locally grown and I wanted to can them into spaghetti sauce, but I don't know when I'm gonna do that. So I just thought, I've been liking the spaghetti sauce we're just, just making out of cans of tomato sauce, making up our own as we go. And so I don't know if I'm gonna go through the effort of that, especially if this works out well. So I'm gonna take this whole bag of frozen tomatoes. I might get another one too, depending. I got my largest crock pot out, and I'm just gonna show you this meal. If it works out well, yeah, if it doesn't work out well, I'll let you know. Don't try it at home. <laughs> but if it does work out well, it might be a good one. I think I, bet I need about another half bag just because I'm sure she made it for a smaller family. Yeah, I'll get another half bag and then I'm gonna throw in a diced onion and some seasonings. Here's another bag. I noticed some of mine even in there are even yellow tomatoes, so I don't know what kind all of these are. A lot of them are beefsteak tomatoes, I think. I did wash them before I put them in here, so we should be good to go. And most of them that I got are organic anyway. In the comment section of that reel, I noticed some people said that theirs was bigger, so it really does depend on what kind of tomato you end up using. And then some people added like baking soda or sugar to cut the bitterness. So I'm aware they may have to tweak it in the end, and I'm just saying in case you try it, then you have to tweak it as well. I don't have a lot of onions, so I'm just using the two smaller purple onions I've got. You hear kids slurping their oatmeal in the background. <laughs> then I'm adding in, it says two tablespoons of olive oil, but I'm just gonna add in a bit more than that. A whole head of garlic, so I'm 
dumping in some of my garlic cubes, six of them. That would be a whole head of peeled garlic because we're gonna use an immersion blender when it's all done, so you want it peeled, but it is a lot of garlic, which will be good. So I'm doubling it, so I'm gonna do two tablespoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of salt, might add more later, one teaspoon of black pepper and half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. I might do a little less than that so it's not too spicy for the kids. And then I'm gonna come back and show you after eight hours on low in this crock pot what it looks like and what it tastes like. I'll add cream probably at the end. Oh yeah, cream and Parmesan. I do like trying new things pretty often I would say, but I look for, the only things that make me stop are things that I already have on hand and are pretty simple. So sometimes I come across things that are great, that are made with ingredients that I generally have in stock. This is definitely one of them. And then it's a new meal we can add to our rotation, basically. Okay, here is the after cooked result. Of course, I didn't put any liquid in it, but all those tomatoes, frozen tomatoes, it is very liquidy. You can add broth. Chicken broth, beef broth, vegetable broth. So I'll use this immersion blender. I love these things. I added salt and now I'm gonna add cream. I'm using these loaves of sourdough that I just made. I made the dough before, a couple days ago. These will be good for grilled cheese. These guys are all waiting. Look at, he's like, he likes bread. Eli is grating Parmesan for the soup. Here are some of the sandwiches. Here's some yummy soup with cheese. This one for the kids, it's not much. So good. An invisible string onto this paper. Wow. I need a tip. <laughs> cool trick. Eli fried an egg for his grilled cheese. That'll be good. I never even got ready today. You're seeing the real raw deal today. I woke up and just ran from the beginning. Our dryer had been broken for five days. There was so much laundry. I normally do a load or two every day, and it's no, it's a no-brainer. Today I was like doing laundry all day. So much school done, it was good to have an easy meal. Um, I will post the reel that I watched on Instagram today. I'll try to remember to do that. And then you guys can go check that out or, and I'll also write that recipe down in the description box. Thank you guys for watching all these meals. I hope you enjoyed them, got some inspiration. I sure love showing them, it's actually fun. So <laughs> I hope it's fun for you to watch. We'll talk to you soon, bye. Oh, are you zooming in on my face? Don't do it. <laughs> You saw it again?